Why are the most loyal and boyfriend material guys single? You see, most guys can easily hold a conversation, but they're afraid to start it. It should be seen as cute or endearing when a guy is nervous to talk to you. He's fidgeting. He's not making direct eye contact all the time, or maybe stepping back and giving you space. Oh, and side note, you're not going to find these guys at the clubs or parties. They're at home. Just notice how she said it should be attractive. It should be cute, but women almost never actually pick these guys. Why? Women want the man that just gets it. They don't want the man that has no experience, doesn't know what he's doing, doesn't know how to talk to women, he's not interesting, he's not cool, doesn't have style. He should just be confident. He should just be charming. Women don't want to have to tell their man how to be a man. You should just be the man. I was like 19 years old, I would get paid. To go to the clubs? Just to go to the club, it's called hosting. I get like 10 grand just to go and be in the club for an hour or two hours and like they bring bottles and I would just- I thought Instagram I made girls. it by making it into the club. <laughs> As I could get into the club, he brags to his friends. Getting to a table, I feel like Drake. When you have a good man, you're gonna be in that kitchen and you're gonna like it and I could not agree more because I was such a like, no, he can make his own food. No, I'm not going to get up at three, four in the morning and like make lunches. Like, I'm not going to do that. And, you know, now and now that I have a good man, now that I'm being taken care of. Yes, sir. Expeditiously, expeditiously. Oh, your grandma used to make carne guisada and homemade tortillas. And that was like your favorite thing. Cool. I'm going to learn to make carne guisada and homemade tortillas. It's that simple. Now, you need me to wash the dishes? I'll do you one better. I'll deep clean the sink afterwards too. That's super true, man. Because really, once your frame is on point, once your life is in order, you know who you are as a man, women will fall in line. That's why it's truly just all about you becoming that man. That's the thing you need to focus on. Of course, you need to understand all this woman stuff so you know how to operate within the dating marketplace so you don't get finessed, but that should be the main focus, your own personal development. What's don't wrong with the ring? I don't want it. If you ask it's me- It's real. It came from Kate Jewelers. I'm if you didn't know what ungrateful look like, you just seen a clip. I worked hard. I don't want. I worked the hard to afford this. Pictures. I sent you the link. What else do I have to do? I mean, I told you the ring that I wanted. I don't want that. I thought when somebody proposed to you, it's a gift. So therefore, it's something they pick. What if this is all he can afford? You ain't gonna give him no credit for that. The real ring from I don't from care Kager. if it's real. Look at but, it. It's not. It's not my style. I don't like it. I'm not gonna wear it. I mean, for real. These kind of women just truly do not even deserve to be brides. Why is this dude putting up with such bad behavior? This is what always surprises me. Is that so many men today are letting their women just walk all over them, completely dictating the relationship. It's like, bro, she should be grateful that you're even thinking about her becoming your wife. And you see this insanely ungrateful behavior and you're still like, oh, well, baby, it's from K. It's still good. Don't worry. You want that to be your wife, bro? On a scale of one to 10, how much do you love coming to Costco with your wife? Zero. <laughs> Minus zero. <laughs> One to ten. Ten being what? Ten being the best, one the being best the worst. One. <laughs> Have a good day. Not answering. <laughs> Smart man. Zero. <laughs> How about zero? <laughs> zero. <laughs> you raised by your father and mother? No, just my mother. Oh, where's your father? I don't know. I don't want to meet him. Why not? Well, because my mother says I don't want to, and I, I there's no reason to. <laughs> Because your mother said it? Why do you believe your mother? Your mother your mother is jealous of your father. She won't let you see him. I don't think that's what it is. My mother is also against toxic masculinity, and she is also against the patriarchy. And my father was a very toxic male. How do you know that? Because I see videos and photos of from when I was a baby, and one of the videos is him with a bunch of other men in the backyard, all drunk, drinking what, beers. What's wrong and with that? <laughs> well, they're just acting like idiots. I can just tell through the video his personality is just not somebody I'd want to meet. You just, are you just like your mother? Yes, I am. For men raised by single mothers, I really only see it turn out two different ways. You either become the mega soy boy, like this dude, or a mega bad boy. It's very rare to see something in between that. So many men that get raised by just a single mother, only having the mother in the home, and zero masculine influence, they basically just get over coddled from the mother, to the point where they are just flaccid wimps. If you are in a situation like that, bro, you need to cut the umbilical cord again, or be doomed to your symptom. I'm obsessed 
with my husband. Okay. I know it maybe sounds weird. It's been like 25 years and everybody said like, that'll go away. You're not going to feel like that. Like his brothers told him like, she's not going to keep being like that. I don't know when it's going to end, but I just have to tell you, like, he, I know the internet has fallen in love with him. He's just so cute. Like, I, I literally have to bite my hand sometimes because if like, he's not in reach. I need to, like, bite him. I need to squeeze him. He's so cute. He's so sweet. He's such a good husband. Like, I don't know what I did to deserve him. Grateful, genuine desire, wife of the day. How about that? Passport bros. They're allegedly getting passports and traveling to different countries to find mates, women to marry who have values that they admire. Well, I'm a mother of four sons, and one of my sons married a woman from Spain. And I'm here to tell you, she is the most precious person in the world. She's very well educated. She's very elegant. She's very feminine. She knows how to cooperate with my son and not be demanding and entitled and ungrateful for the things that he does for her. Well, women in America have grown so entitled and so demanding that they think they can do anything they want to do and get away with with it, treat a man any way they want to treat him, and even denigrate him when they weigh 300 pounds and he wants someone who looks feminine, who behaves feminine. Based granny, hell yeah. With most women that actually seem to understand men's struggles, they always have a male in their life that they really care about because they can see it for themselves and the person they love. So it gives them that emotional connection to the actual struggle itself. And this is how they understand it because it's an emotional thing. A lot of women don't care about men's issues unless they have sons, or maybe she grew up with brothers, or strong father. It's only when they are emotionally involved that they begin to understand and see it. A mistake, and this is probably going to destroy my marriage, but how do I tell him that our three kids are not biologically his? For context, my husband is an amazing man. He bought me this beautiful house, these wonderful rings, nice cars. He treats me and our kids amazingly. He's never cheated on me. He's just always been a good man. But the guilt is eating me alive, honestly. On days like this, it really gets the best of me, and I don't know how to resolve this problem. I mean, I'm scared he's going to divorce me, and then what? Then I lose everything. Like, how am I going to lose all the stability that I have? So I'm just really looking to see if anybody else has been in this situation and can give me some advice. I already know some of you are gonna judge me and assume the worst of me, but I'm really a good person. The guilt should be intense. It's called having a conscience. Honestly, if she was a good person like she says she is, what she would do is divorce the man and then not take anything. That's really the only thing that she can do unless she wants to invest in building a time machine. You cannot give him back all of those years of wasted time and money. But to be honest, bro, I just do not see that happening in this situation. I don't think she's actually looking for advice. I think she's looking for sympathy. Met a man on this dating app she posted this photo and then she showed up as this and the man was upset because he was like you ain't you ain't who you said you was you don't look like your photos and she was like she was like no i look exactly like my photos y'all no filter so she was upset because at the end of the day he was basically expecting her to pay she didn't have any money um so he paid and then when she got in the car or got home he sent her a cash app request watch this clip first and tell me what you guys think in the comments was he wrong or was she wrong and he was like looking around like oh he was looking for somebody else and i was like okay i'm like hey i'm tia and then she was like tia oh like, yeah that's for me from be okay we, he was like looking confused and he told me to sit down so I sat down I smiled and he didn't smile back at me so this guy DM me he said you still be doing loyalty tests I said how old is she he said 19 turning 20 soon I said got you what's her at he said in my bio and sent me her page I checked their grams they had each other's ads in their Instagram bios so that was a good sign I told him got you and I got to work she didn't follow me back so I decided to turn it up a notch I swiped up on her story I dropped some hard eyes and she liked the message but she didn't respond I knew I had her attention though so I had to act quick. I double texted. I asked, where are you from? And she left me on scene. At this point, she seemed pretty loyal to me. She had her man's Instagram in her bio. She wasn't responding to my messages. What more could you ask for? Personally, I don't think he has anything to worry about. The only thing she actually did was like my response to her story. But I think that's reasonable. She never followed me back, responded to any messages, or entertained me at all. This is definitely a pass in my book. Your girl having social media is like having a permanent open door in your home 24-7. Any random person can just walk
walk in and disrupt whatever you're doing. Someone having her Instagram is the same thing as having her phone number. There's basically zero difference between the two. But nowadays, it's just completely acceptable to be handing your Instagram out left and right, following random people, they follow you back, open accounts that anyone can follow. It's insane. The social media is the red flag itself. A regular conversation with you and you're just treat like, it's just, it's not even the fact that's a big yikes, my guy. It's a big yikes. And that's the end of the video. Subscribe.